everybody. I thought I would share with you a day in my life. Today, I am running behind. It is 11.25. I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping at night, and I didn't even wake up until 9. And then in the mornings, we have coffee and bird time. We let the birds out of the cages and play with us. So it usually takes at least an hour and a half to start getting dressed and everything and get our day started. So needless to say, I'm running late. I like to get up early, and that's why. But I just bathed the dogs. Wednesday is bathed the dog day, but uh, it's Thursday. I'm late. And I'll show you the aftermath. Of course, I have not been picking and swishing and swiping and doing my fly lady all week because I have had very low energy. So this is what I have to contend with when I don't keep up with my chores. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they just got a bath. This is what I have to deal with. This is all me. I've got laundry, I've got a dirty bathtub, and I'm not going to do any heavy duty cleaning simply because next week is the zone in the bathroom, but I do have to sweep and at least swish and swipe a little bit more. So I just got out of the shower, I'm going to get my makeup on, and then I'm going to get started. Oh, looking pretty rough. Actually, this has been kind of a bad week. We've had a sad week. Um, yeah, I always keep my makeup in here that I use for the week. Um, yeah, we had a, a pretty sad week. Uh, we lost Layla. For any of you that um, see my Facebook, yeah, we lost her. So that, that was a hard thing to go through. But life goes on you know but when you have birds you always think you're going to have them for forever you know because they live for a lot longer than dogs and cats so yeah it was and not only that we didn't even realize that she was sick we don't know that she was sick we think she had a heart attack but uh yeah it's been a pretty pretty rough week so i'm gonna get my makeup on and not think about that and get myself together that's as good as it's gonna get <laughs> For those of you that are wondering, yes, I wear my makeup every single day unless I am way sick in bed. I do wear makeup every day. Even when I'm in the house by myself, I wear makeup. Okay, coffee. I love these things. Keeps the coffee much warmer than if you just leave the coffee on it. See, they're little silicones. These are gifts from Sherry, and I love it. Thank you, Sherry. Okay. I need to quit fiddle farting and get busy. So here we go. Okay, that was just a little over an hour later. 
Um, I had to stop in the middle to take care of something that took a few minutes. This is not normal. It shouldn't take an hour to clean your master bath. It really shouldn't. But this is what happens when you don't do a daily switch, swish and swipe. <laughs> so I'll show you what I did. Now I did not deep clean. I just um, uh, literally just kind of disinfected a little here and there and um, you know, tidied up and got it clean. Not perfect. I did not do the baseboards, that type of thing, but it's clean. I removed the dog bowls. Um, just so I can wash them, but that's the rug for the dog bowls. This is just the bathroom area. I did clean the windows as you saw. Um, this, one of these days I want to get a really pretty armoire or something like that to put over here, but until now we use this little carrier because we don't have enough storage here. Um, the floors are decent and that's our dirty laundry. I only do one load a day. And the bathtub is clean and everything's hung up and I need to do towels. That's what's in the laundry and all of this is clean. I need to reload the toilet paper. So now I am going to go take a little break. Um, we, we're taking care of Layla's remains. So, um, yeah, I need a break and then I need to get into the master bedroom and do a quick clean in there and then we are in zone two which is the kitchen and that's what I'm going to work on today as far as a few decluttering and getting some dinner ready. Best laid plans. Right in the middle of everything I remembered I need to go to the post office so um, I'm going to go mail my letter and check the mail and yesterday when I went to the post office the eagles were out and they were absolutely gorgeous and they were real close to the road so i was hoping maybe i can get a little bit of footage of them today i don't know if they'll be out but as i was coming up the hill yesterday one of them threw dropped a carcass right in front of my car like two feet in front of it but it was just like remains country living yeah kind of weirded me out a little bit but we live in the country. Does what happens. Ah, uh, too bad. They're not out today. I was really hoping they would be. They were just right up the road. I mean, you know, right on the road. It was really cool, but, you know, sometimes they just don't do what I think they should be doing. Okay, I'm back from the post office. It is 2.40, and I'm giving myself until 3 o'clock to get this mess of a bedroom cleaned up so i'll show you what i have to work with right now I made up the bed i need to declutter a few things these are where the dogs sleep at night and dutch's bed needs to be washed and since they've all had baths i need to go ahead and wash those and this is just laundry a bunch of clutter and i do have the vacuum out and I need to dust a little bit so I need to get this party started
It's a little after three and everything's done. I got it dusted. I did not do any deep cleaning. That'll be for next week. The dog beds are in the wash and everything's tidied. So I feel better. One, I've got to work on this area right here. This is a hot spot and it always, that's my, you know, my Bible and my Sunday studies and all. And I want to do something with that I just it's a hot spot but anyway um most everything is like it should be so I'm quite happy with it okay so that was the bathroom in the bedroom and it was you know it was a mess it was a, a big mess I did not stay on top of it and I'm very tired right now um but I'm gonna go and fix my husband some lunch and a very light lunch and fix myself some lunch and then I'm gonna work in the kitchen just a little bit. I'm gonna give myself maybe 30 minutes um, doing a little bit of declutter and preparing for dinner, and then I'm gonna fix dinner, and then that's gonna be it. I'm gonna clean my kitchen, and that's gonna be it for the day for me. So uh, I'm trying to keep up with my fly lady as the best I can. I'm just playing a little bit of catch up right now, you know? Hi, so I got my camera set up and I am doing a little bit of cooking in the kitchen and I thought that I would share it with you guys. This bowl is what I use for when I chop things and I don't want to use the ends and stuff. I put it in the bowl and then I freeze it for my veggie broth. So here we go. I'm just doing some chopping. Some of you had asked about my vegetable broth and what I've done, these are the, the tops of the Brussels sprouts and also, let me put this down here. As you can see, some of them are a little discolored. They're probably still good. I just put them in the broth. Onion. When I cut up an onion, I will wash it first wash it really good and then what I do is keep the skins for my vegetable broth as well. It works. So tonight we're going to have fish tacos to my husband's dismay. I am going to experiment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but basically all I'm doing, it's really cold outside, but we love fish tacos. So I thought what I would do instead of um, serving them with what I normally serve them with is just regular coleslaw and some dressing over top, of course, with the fish is warm. But I think what I'm going to do is saute some onions and then put some the coleslaw, the cabbage in there and just kind of warm it up and then serve it that way and just so it'll be a warm meal. We'll see what it tastes like. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll find out. I'm just going to do the onions and saute these a little bit and then put the cabbage in there. 
And then I'm going to take some of these out because I want to add my um, Brussels that I had put in there. These are a lot of Brussels, but I'm going to eat them over a few days time. So I'm just going to play with this and once I get it put together and plated up, I'll show you what it looks like. Hope it's good. Okay, I literally just put veggies in a freezer bag and as you can see, these are all of just the tops of those brussels and then here's my onion with the skins and I've got, you know, several other things in here as well. But that's how I start my broth. What you think, Dutchie? What you think? You think it's gonna be good? You think it's gonna be a good? Yeah, I gonna be good. What you think, Lexi? You think it's gonna be good? You think it's gonna be good? Huh? So I have a few veggies in the fridge that need to be used up. And I still do better with cooked vegetables. So I'm gonna add them in to these Brussels sprouts and um, just kind of saute them, you know, cook them just a little bit to bring out the flavors. And that way I can snack on, on them for the next few days. Okay, I think I, I've got some mushrooms that I'm gonna add in here at the very end, but this is looking pretty good. Smelling good, that's for sure. And if you got this far with me, thank you for being here.